Welcome to the Mitch's Paintbrush. I'm Rob, and this is my lovely wife, Nicole, and today we're going to be playing the game Rain in Hell, game seven of our campaign called The, the Prison. Prison. Now, it's Thanksgiving weekend, so... Gobble, gobble! Starting for game seven, Nicole's Cabal. Current number of souls is 19. And um, that's really not enough for you to get a new demon, is it? Not yet. I'm going to have to try and work hard. Let's see if the dice, the, don't write, the roll of the dice is in my favor this game. <laughs> I we'll hope so, see. too. All right. So with my uh, spike getting atrophy, oh. that... Um, Took his combat down to two, but he doesn't really have to have a high combat because I can control the other demons and have them hit themselves. So, oh, yeah. you know, I think we can we can work with that. Even so. if it had a combat of one, I would be terrified of Spike. I mean, deadly. So Wings um, had Soul Wrap, so that takes him back to his original with wait, a Wait, wait, wait. I believe the skill is called Soul Warp. Oh, Warp. Sorry. Yeah. Nah, well, you Wrap know. makes me want to go to, like, you know, eat some Wrap Mexican Wrap in a food. blanket. Ooh, yeah. I like Mexican. That's my favorite. <laughs> All right. So his move is mm. back down to nine, life of seven, and combat of three. Right. Ew. Well, I mean, it was a lot worse. So this actually became a boon for you. Like, it was a benefit for you because Wings was not doing so well at all so there's that at least he has a combat of three now and last the devil tushy had chaos power so we increased his combat to eight which is terrifying because every time he rolls a natural six he does double the damage and now you have another dice that you get through to roll in the pool to damage me Yikes. Maybe you're going down, but we, we should who not knows? Yell into the mic. You might poor listeners out there's ears just exploded. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Let's get on to mine. So here's my cabal, right? And since the slaughter was really for real, since the slaughter's real, I got 48 souls because I won the scenario, uh, because I was just on a murder rampage. <laughs> I was killing I was killing figures left and right, really. All right, so yeah, I am saving up. You know what I'm saving up for? I'm saving up for the elite demons, the big demons. And we have greater demons, but these are like the princes and the, the, the big kings and queens of the game, the biggest ones ever. And I am going to paint up some really big miniatures uh, so we can both have like a really big chunky boy fight in the middle of the ring, kicking each other's butts with big miniatures. Uh, oh, big miniature, right? Big, min all right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Minion Demon, uh, Lizbell. Now, Lizbell got twisted, and so um, I had to take a hit on a couple of things here. Now, the movement is six now instead of seven. Uh, but the thing about Twisted is one value goes down while the other one goes up. So uh, combat uh, went up to six. So um, there is that. There is that. Uh, still has that essence, the curse, curse touch essence and impaling charge ability. So still pretty decent on the, uh, on the field. However, as I'm collecting more and more souls, I'm going to have to ax someone from the team so i'm gonna start thinking about axing someone because i can only have 10 members of the team so somebody's had gotta go so i'm gonna have, maybe it's lizbell sorry lizbell although you have been really really strong for me and your movement has been great to get to places but i don't know i don't know you might have to go might have to go all right so this is game seven as a recap 
Game 5, The Beast, was won by this lady right here, Nicole, who kicked my butt. Yes. Extracting power, I won the game, but only ever so slightly. I was killing more of your miniatures uh, throughout the game. However, at the last ditch effort, I tried to put that wall up there. And um, what's the matter? Nothing. Oh, okay. You're in the zone there. Um, <laughs> anywho, I tried to um, put a wall there and really try to... Uh, block you off so this way I can have the access to those damaging terrains in the last last round of the game to try to extract power and I was only lucky because I don't really roll five ups very well I mean I try I try I'm just <laughs> look dice is never um with me with those things anywho enough preamble here uh let's get on to the game the prison you decided to play I'm All right, let's get started. prison over here and we have some special guests there locked in that prison he has been there for countless of years and what we have here are the goals for this mission this is Bahamut versus fire force again uh nicole you feeling good about this game i am awesome Ready. awesome the dice are my friend this game. the dice are your friend in this game that's great uh, i hope I really do hope. All right, so here we have terminals. And the rules of the game is that you have to stay in the terminal. That means one person of your team, either one, has to control three corners or three of these terminals, and there's two on the other side, um, in order to, at the end of the fifth round, in order to win the game and free this guy uh, right there in the middle. Who knows what might happen once he's free? Does he have secret knowledge? Could he just be insane for so many years being in prison? We do not know this. But what we do know is we're going to have one heck of a battle going on over here. There is a lot less terrain in here. And I do have another battle mat, a different battle mat. I tried to change it up every two games or so. Uh, just to have a different environment each and every time. Um, which is pretty cool. I get my battle mats from uh, Table War, um, and uh, there's a couple of other companies that I source the maps from. Uh, they are not sponsored, but they do have cool maps uh, as well. Uh, all right, so here it is, game number seven, and we're going to try to control those and see what happens to the prisoner. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do for round one, since it's mainly just moving, we're going to roll the dice here, doing something a little new. We're gonna roll the dice here, uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to um, take our movement phase for um, turn one, and we're just gonna do all the movements, so this way you don't have to see us doing move for move for move. And we'll come back to you at round number two. So right now we're just gonna roll the dice. Nicole, if you'd like to roll your dice first, keep it in there. There it is, right there. Those are the dice rolls um, as she's sourcing it. And then I'm going to get mine as well. Let's see if I can get my dice roll in here. All right, and there are my dice rolls. Let's get started with this game, all right? All right, here is round one's movement. I move my peoples up here. Uh, we got the leaders coming in here, and there is Fire Force coming into the scene, just trying to make its way uh, over here. It's looking pretty good over here. You feeling pretty solid about this, Nicole? Yeah? Um, we'll see. We'll see the plan of action here. Let's see if anybody controls a uh, digi port 
don't know what else to call them except for digi boards. Um, what would you like to call them? It's computer screen, monitors. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> you don't know? Got nothing right Got now. Got nothing right now? All right. So these are like computer screens or terminals, I guess you can call that. I like digi ports. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Time for round two. Time to roll the dice. Go ahead, Nicole. Getting that dice roll right here. I am not an on the spot type of person. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm seeing a 12 there. That's like, they're seeing two 12s actually. That's looking pretty good for you. Three 12s. Oh my. You have three 12s in there. Uh, I think you're going first. Pretty sure about that. All right. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of happy about all 12s because I want to see what you set up before I make my moves. All right. So I'm just going to roll my stuff over here. I have an 11. And then a seven. So you're going to go for most of the game. I think you have one, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, nine. You have like five, six. No, five, six. You have know. a nine. I have a nine? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do have a nine right there. Okay. So, and then there's 11 over there. Okay. So, my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Since um, last term was all moves, we kind of skipped forward. But this one might actually involve some combat, so we're going to see this. All right, Nicole, you go three times, so go for it. Your first move is to... Okay, you got to move wings up. Yeah. All right. All right. We've got to move thunder, or no. That's double tushy. Double tushy. Spike is going to take a little walk and go right over here. Oh, there. Spike is moving on in. All right, I'm going to take my demon, Hecate. And Hecate has the ability that once per game, it's Essence of the Void, he disappears and can reappear 12 inches anywhere on the board. Uh, so what he's going to do, he's going to disappear from here, and then he's going to reappear right over here where you can fit, uh, right there. And he's gonna attack Spike. Um, all right, so uh, a combat of eight, and you have a combat of two. That means I'm hitting on twos, and I get an extra one for charging in. Here it comes. All right. All right, there is a whole lot of ones here. So that means miss, 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 miss. So I got five that go through. Time to defend yours. Okay, so you do not defend on any of them. So I got five damage to your spike. Thunder Cookies is gonna move in and attack. Don't you wanna move closer? Hecate. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna move and attack Hecate. Uh, all right, so not in focus combat, so you're gonna get the ability. Go ahead, roll your dice. All right, so you got all. Oh, wow, that's really nice because you're hitting on fours and five of them go through. Okay, time for me to defend. All right, so I get two that go bye bye. That means you hit me for three points. Okay, Clox is going to move in and try his chance at Hecate. Just within one inch. Um, hitting on fours and re-rolling up to three die. All right, let's see. Okay, roll those twos. And I guess the four. That's it, everything else hits. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you got another hit out of it. Okay, I got... Rolling eight to defense, and none of it, so that means I get six damage. I think that kills him. Yes, it does. It definitely kills Hecate. Woohoo! All right, right there, Hecate is gone, and you get to roll a soul dice. Why don't you take that out and roll it right now? All right, you got a one. Remember, you can use that one for me when I'm attacking if you want to use that. Okay. Up, or you can save it for <coughs> later. Good job, Nicole. All right, my Mara is going to use Essence of the Void and go to try to take out your spike as well. So I'm going to disappear from the board and then reappear right 
here and attack. Now I am I have seven combat abilities, so I'm gonna roll right there. Hitting on twos. Let's see what I get. Alrighty, so I missed one of them. So that means six go through and your defense. Ten billion. Oh my! That's the best thing you can do right there. So two of my dice go away because they've got two blocks right there doing four damage to your spike. And how much life does your spike have now? Six. Six damage left. Wow. No, no, no. Taking It has six now. Take away four. We have two. We have two life left. Oh my, so close. So close. Next up, my Lilith Armor Demon is going to use her Essence of the Void as well. I'm just burning through all of these and try to finish off Spike. So getting in right there and trying to finish off Spike. There's a combat ability of five, and since so she's charging in, it's one more. All right. Hitting on twos. Oh, three ones. So that means three go through. Oh. You don't defend on any of them. So it is three damage. You could have you could have survived that one, Spike, but the dice were not with you. I take that and I'm going to roll a soul die. Let's see what I get. All right, I get a four. All right, I'm just going to move chains up a little closer on this round. Guess. We'll that works. All right. Then I moved close, so I'm going to gain control of this objective here on this side. Uh, one corner. One corner is obtained. All right. So Samael is going to move uh, to the other side over here. There it is. I'm going to try to get it in camera. That'd be nice. And going to attack, hitting on fours against Devil Tushy. Let's we'll see what I got here. Uh, one second here. I'm going to have to pause that and delete it again. Alrighty, so my semi-L second is going to come in and try to attack double Trishy. We're going on that side right there. Hey, what's up? How you doing? All right. Um, so I'm going to use my righteousness to, <laughs> I'm going to add to my combat roll total, a uh, total of two dice because I killed somebody. And then I'm charging in and I get an extra dice, but I'm still hitting on fours because his combat ability is higher than mine. Also, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. All right. So I have some, I have a natural six. It's going to do double damage hitting on fours. So see, the threes go away. And if you could take that one off there, thanks. All right, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Let's see what you got there. All right, you defend against two of them. So these two, that means these two go away. So it's one, two, three, four, five damage to your dude, Devil Toshi. How much life does that leave them with? Six. Six life left. All right. All right, quick correction. Samael does not have a six where you can do two damage. It's actually Zegan, so we gave Devil Tushin an extra life. You all right with that? Cool. Yep. All right, there it is. Now, what we're going to do is Zegan, so now that double turn, is going to come in and charge in two. The previous one. Yeah, we have plenty of them. Okay, good. So it is. Zegan is going to come in and attack Devil Tushy Rotten Vice. Alrighty, so every six is doing double damage here, hitting on twos this time. Here it is. Oh, a lot of ones here. A lot of one six doing double damage, hitting on twos. Okay, so that means all these hit, and this six will leave right there. We do not <laughs> block against any of them. So that means I do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage total to Devil Tushy. Oh, he only has seven likes. Oh, I killed Oops. Devil Tushy right there. And Samuel's like, ouch, that hurt. Uh, all right, time for a soul die. All right, I get a three. All right, Claws is going to move his seven, move in here and gain 
uh, access or control of the objective, making my cabal taking, gaining and controlling access of two so far. So two objectives controlled, secured. So next up, I'm going to move my Bone Reaper right there. Uh, and that's my turn. All right, I'm going to move Fire Hands here in front of Claws. Oh, blocking. All right, I'm going to move Axe Murder here. I'm going to move Cloaks in here behind my cloak. And that's the end of my moves. You're nuts. All right, so I'm next, and I have four moves because I have four ones to go. So I'm just going to do my movement. Nothing is going to attack, and I'm just going to move these guys right there. Um, and that's going to end the round. All right, let the carnage continue. Time for round three. Go ahead, roll the call for your initiative. All right, there it is. I see an 11. That's pretty good. I got a 12 first. You got a 12, an 11, a 9, a 7. Nice. Not bad. All right, time for my roll. Let's see if I get something good here. Uh, I see two 12s, an 11, a 10, a 10 two uh, nine, three no, nine. No, no, it's a 1, 9, two nines. There's a six right there. And a two uh, and a four. Not too bad. And a four. Not too bad. All right. Okay, Thunder Cookies is going to come in and do an attack on Lilith. All right. Hitting on twos. See what you get. They're all successes. And now I'm defending. I have five, but I have also have the ability of steely skin, so I can turn two of these dice to a six. I'll see what I get. All right, so I defended against two, and this is going to turn these two into sixes, and that means one of them go through. All right, Samael, my devout is up to his usual shenanigans. He's going to come in and try to attack Axe Murder right there, hitting on twos. There we go. Oh, another one of the ones I've been played with the ones lately, but still. Uh, pretty decent. Two, four, six, go through. All right, there's your defense. Ooh, nice. Five and sixes. Five and sixes are a success with yours because you have some shenanigan ability right there. So you block three of them. So I'm going to take three of these out and you do three damage to your axe murder. All right, Zegan is coming in for axe murder. And that's the next one going in right there. And hitting like the truck that he is, sixes does double damage uh, when charging in. So let's see, plus one for the uh, for the charge. Let's see what I get there. Oh, there is two sixes. That's nice. Hitting on twos, three sixes. That's nice. Three sixes. All right. And then everything else hits. So I'll put that on to the side right there. That's nasty. All right, go for it. Fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. So that means two of them get blocked. I'll take these two out of the way, out of the pool here. So that's four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten damage to axe murder. Well, they only have results. seven left life. So that takes. Whoops. So he is gone. And while you pull that out, I'm going to roll a soul die, mm. and I get a two. All right, time to move my Torture Master into your leader. He's going to circle around there and come right about there to uh, attack. Now, he has an ability to heed the Lash. That means any natural six, I can reduce your combat ability by one, or any, your life or your movement by one for every six that I roll. And this guy is pretty nasty, but I am hitting on fours. So let's hope we don't get any sixes for you, Nicole, but let's see. Oh my, that went all over the place. So let's, <laughs> I hit it too high. Okay, so there are no sixes, so I don't get to reduce your ability. And I am hitting on four, so I'm gonna take the twos and threes away, and that means five damage go through. Let's see what you defend against. And all right. I get to change one to a six. Good job. So that means two defend against. All right, so that means two of these go bye-bye, and I do great damage. How many? Three. All right, so it is time for uh, my Mara. I think that's the name. Yeah, 
uh, to come on in right there and attack your wings. All right, hitting on twos. Let's see if I do that. All right, so that means I miss two, hitting those ones right there, and I do right there five damage. And you don't block any of them, so that does five damage to your wings. All right. All right, I'm going to take my armor demon straps and move it right here. All right, I'm in for the trouble. All right, time for Lilith to run away. Run away? Yeah, run away. She's going to go and move all the way over here and take control of that computer screen because she is kind of hard to kill. So that is my move. All right, time for uh, Suffering to come in and attack Thunder Cookies right there. Six is doing double damage plus one for the charge. Let's see what I get right here. All right, more ones. Inevitable, but I do have a six. That's pretty cool. And then these hit right here. And you don't block against any of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage to Thunder Cookies. Leaving 10 minus eight. Two life eight. left for Thunder Cookies. Wow. All right. In this round, Claws is going to be staying in focus combat towards pain. I get to turn one combat dice to six and also uh, the extra defense roll to six. He also. Any enemy within three inches suffers two damage, so all of them three have damage. already suffered two, three, da three two, damage. Three damage. Three damage. All right, that's that hammer. Go for it. And you can turn one into a six. All right, hitting on fours. Turn any one into a six. Two, I guess. Yeah, they all hit anyway. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see what I defend against. Oh, oh, oh. Six, 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 six. So four of them go bye bye. One, two, three, four go bye bye. That means I already get hit with six damage, not killing him. And that's after only the three. leaving him one life because he has seven. I know, only leaving me one life because he has seven because he took three damage from that hammer. One life left might be all that he needs to reduce your beast of a leader ability down. That's all that, that pain should do. Reduce your leader's abilities, and that would be cool. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, so next up, Anguish is going to join in the fray and attack your armor demon there. Uh, and let's see, I get plus one for charging in, and my six is double damage. So let's see what I can do right here. And I see a six. I see two sixes. All right, we got one. And two, hitting on twos, so that means they all kind of hit. All right, there it is, massive damage. And you got one, and you could re-roll, turn one into a six, and then re-roll one. Let's see if you get that one. And then on a six, so you block two of them, so I'm going to take these two out of here. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight damage to your armor demon. And how much life does he have? He has 13 minus 8. Nice. So he has 5 life left. Ouch. I'm going to take my cloaks, fly him over here, move him within 1 inch of pain. Going to attack, combat of 6, reroll up to 3 dice for combat attack. Oh, good. Pain's combat is 6. So we're hitting on. Choose. What's your combat ability? Six. Six, you're hitting on threes. Oh, threes. So that okay. means you got plenty of threes there. You just missed one of them. And I have but I get to re-roll. Oh, yeah, re-roll it. Go for it. Three. Nice. So. Oh, and a six, it's another hit. Sweet. Oh, this does not look good. I only have one life. Pain seems to be in pain. <laughs> All right. And I only block one of them. That means my pain is gone. You've alleviated my pain in my life. Isn't that nice? Mm. All right, you roll a dice and you get a two for soul dice. Good job, Nicole. Wiping out a major demon. Noise. All right, my spine demon, Lizbell, is going to move and turn tail over to this side. Try to control that one right there. Although she's too far away to control it just yet. 
but I'm thinking by next move she'll be able to do that. So I have right now Nicole is winning because she's controlling two of the corners. And I'm only controlling one. So you are in the lead. And that's my first one. Fire Hands is going to move in and attack Mara. Attack ability for Fire Hands is eight. Whoops, so I'm hitting on twos. So those are ones. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, all right, let me see if I can defend against that. All right, I block against two of them, so that means I got four damage to Mara. All right, time for Bone Reaper to scooch on over. Scooch, 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 and attack your mouse right there. Uh, hitting on fours, let's see what we can do. No other special ability, but hitting on four, trying to knock down the life of your boss as well. Ooh, all right, so that's pretty good. I missed just one of those, and I got a lot of fives and sixes. And fours. Nice. All right, your turn. All right, turn one of those into a six. And when in focus combat, I guess I'm not in nope. focus combat. All right, so you block three of them. I'm going to take these three out. That means doing four damage. 14 minus four equals 10. Ten life left. Ooh. All right, Wings is my last little Memphis to go. He's just gonna try and attack Mara. Probably not doing a whole lot, but eh, we'll give it a shot. Then he gets one, one six. I'm gonna see if I defend against that. Probably, but hey. I do, I defend with oh, one. Just one. Just one. That's one. All right, time for round four. Oh, what mayhem can we go oh, into? Geez. They're all over the place, this one. All right, I see a seven, a seven, a three, a two, a two, a and a one. All the way over there. Oh, there's a nine, okay. Is there anything else hanging out? Mm. Nothing over here? No, mm. we're good. <laughs> all right, already time for my roll. Let's see what I get. Hopefully mine doesn't go all over the place either. All right, so that's not so bad. I got a 10, so I'm starting first. All right. All right, so I decided on my first turn to go with Bone Reaper, who's going to attack your leader right there, Clowls. All right, let's see what's going to happen over here. Hitting on fours. And I get a bonus two because I'm in focus combat. Oh, oh, so underwhelming over here. Miss, 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 miss. I have one that went through. Oh, no, no, there's another four. There. Two, two that went through. Nope, there's another four here. Three that went through. Are you done yet? I am done. <laughs> okay. And turn one to a six. I right? get to turn one to a six. And so you block the three. That's it. Done. Done. Da done. Done. All right. So Lokes has a move of eight and fly. So he's going to come over here, fly in here, and take control, gain control of this. You sneaky sneaks. Oh, that means, that means you, you are going to have to kill him in two rounds. If you can't do that, then they pretty much gave the objective. Oh, all right, nice one. All righty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have suffering attack thunder cookies. All right, plus one for focus combat and all six is the double damage choice. Right? I see another six. All right, hitting on twos. So let's see, the one goes away, everything else hits. I'm just gonna slowly move that over there and then you get to go for it. All right, so you block one of them. Two, two sixes. Oh, two sixes, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, yeah, so you block two of them right there. These two sixes do double damage, so let's do it. Five. Well, he only has two life, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so you're gonna smattering of the smatterings over here. All right, so Thunder Cookies is gone. Goodbye, Thunder Cookies. And here goes my die. I get a two right there. Racking up the souls. All right. Um, my Straps is going to try and attack Mara. And I get Ooh. to reroll. We'll change one to a six and reroll. And what's your combat ability? Uh, six. 
six and, and mine is, is seven, so you're hitting on fours, and that's okay because you rolled beautifully. All right, let's see if I block any of these, ready? And I don't, so they all go through. I get five damage, almost killing my Slaughter Fiend with one life left, wow. All right, on my next round, Fire Hands is going to take out Mara. Nice for move. sure. All right, let's see. Could have been all ones. So wait, you're hitting on? I have eight plus two in focus combat to attack only. So eight and seven, that means you're hitting on twos. And I don't, I block because it does not matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Mara is gone with one life left. I'm going to take Mara out of here. Hopefully the spiky bits won't get in there. And you're rolling Ooh, a... Six. I think that's a nine. Well, whatever it is. I no. don't think there is a nine. Oh, there? no, that's right. There's a six. It's a six-sided dice. See, this is where I'm at, folks. Uh, All right, so I decided to attack with Samael, and Claws use his ability to attack first. So he is going to attack my Zegan. That means you have to move your Claws in to attack my Zegan. Oh, nasty. And it is nasty indeed, because there's a lot of abilities going on with these guys right now. All right, so what are your abilities, Nicole, when you're attacking? Well, Claws, when he fights someone stronger, I get another dice to combat. When in focus, com or when I am in combat, I get to um, turn an extra dice to a six, and I get to turn another combat dice to, I get to, get, I get to change two of them, actually. Yes. Two a six, and all enemies within three inches suffer three damage. Suffer three damage. And for me, I have poison soul, so every six when I'm defending gives you two damage. We are nasty titans of war right here, happening having their battle. So let's go. Roll your attack dice. All right, so. I get to turn two of them to a six. Yeah, what are we hitting on here? Um, uh, nine you, and ten. You, I have, I have a higher combat ability, so you're hitting on fours, which is basically all of them. <laughs> all right, let's see if I defend. Any six will give you two damage right back at you. Come on, Baba. Come on, Baba. Come on, Baba. And, all right, so you get two damage. And I save one of your dice right there, so that means I get three, four, five, six, seven damage to my leader, Zegan. Uh, and I'm gonna take out an additional three damage because of your hammer. And I'm gonna take three damage from everybody else around because your nasty hammer is hammering down right there. All right, I'm going to do the damage report and come back to see if anybody died. All right, finally, Samael gets to attack uh, using the last of his righteousness. He had two left. Uh, hitting on fours. Let's see if this goes. Hitting on fours. All righty, so that means I see a six. All right, all right, all right, all righty. And everything else goes. So that's three. Three go through. All right, defend against three. One, two. One damage. One damage. All right, time for Zegan to come in and try to attack Klaus. Let's see what he can do right here. All right, an extra one for Focus Comic. Does not get the turn six uh, into two damage because he's not charging in. So let me see. Hitting on twos. Come on, bye-bye. Ooh, that looks looking good. Everything hits. Ten damage. Let's see what you defend against. I see sixes. One, two. So what hits? Four? So no, twos, because I have a combat ability of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That kills Klaus. I kill your leader. Alright, now. Let me see what I roll for the soul die. And I got a four. Okay. Four for that soul die. Racking up the soul dice. Alright, my spy demon is going to come in and attack. Your dude, blah, blah. Uh, all right, so hitting on, I gotta get the other one, by the way. All right, hitting on twos. 
All right, let's see. All right, all hit. And they all go through. Unless uh -huh. you're turning. Oh, are you re-rolling? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight damage. Um, then he only has seven life, so that's... Oh! Oh! Ouch! That hurts. Okay, let me roll. Oh, there's soul die here. I one shot him. This bell, like a chat, and I was thinking about getting ready for you. In the beginning of the game, that's what I said. All right, kind of fun. All righty, my next serpent knight right there uh, is going to attack. I'm hitting on twos, and six is doing double damage. Let me see if I get here. No sixes, and one, one, so that means he's hit right here. All right, you block one. No. No. I get to change one to a six. Oh, and nice. I get to re-roll one. Okay, roll one up. Get a six. Oh, okay. So two go bye bye. So I'll take these two over here, and then you get five damage. Yep, that kills him. Oh, and I'm gonna have to roll another soul eye. That is a one. Wings for my last move is going to fly over here. Okay, we are on round five. All right, time for round five. Let's see how this plays out. All right, there's Dex. All right, time for my roll. There it is. Got an 11 there. That's pretty good. So do you. We have to roll on. All right, time for our my Samael to come in and attack wings. Uh, hitting on twos. I know it's rough. Hitting on twos. And I got a lot of ones there. So it's four. Go through that. So four damage to your wings. Oh, he's got two life, so. Okay, rolling another soul die. I get a two right there. Just racking up some soul die. Brawler. Alrighty, so there's change running in against Samael with a punch with meaty fists. All right, let's see what you got there. Hitting on fours. And two go through. Let's see if I can block those. One, so you give me one damage. Okay, fire hands for my last move is gonna try and attack suffering. Uh, combat of eight, what is your... Eight. So, hitting on threes. We have to get all this out of the way. <sighs> Sorry, Jack. So, hitting on threes. So, three go through. You gotta defend against that. And I don't, so three damage go to suffering. Uh, ten, many, seven. I mean, seven life is left. What's that? I say? said technically the game is over because I would have to be in control of three. I don't have three men. So, so just letting you know that this guy would have control this one. This one would have controlled that one over there. So this way we'll have three to end the battle. And I retreat. I am retreat. retreat. There it is. There it is. That means I win the match because that's what I would have moved anyway. And there you go. I declined to move any of the other guys. That, you all right with that? You could just kill them all off and... No, I don't want to kill them all. Earn more souls. No, I got enough. I mean, I'm like embarrassing the riches here. It was a good game. It was close. I tried. I mean, you moved that dude over here. Uh, and then you killed him. Yeah. Hey. The one shot. I mean, there you go. All right. All right. All right. Let's get on to seeing what our benefits and loss tables are. Alrighty, so there is the prisoner, and I have freed the prisoner. And the prisoner comes out, dun, 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 and jumps down, and he says, let's see what he says. I gotta roll D6 to see what he does. Okay, so I'm rolling a D6 right now. Let's see what I get. I right, get a six, and on the chart for the winning of the thing, if I get a six, it says knowledge demon. This is a knowledge 
demon right there. You immediately met him in the flesh. <laughs> okay, this knowledge demon whispers secrets of power and insight into the minds of your leader, and your leader gains two additional experience points. Oh, he's a very wise person, and I get two additional uh, experience points for this. <laughs> wow, that was that was closer. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> All right, thanks for the soul's lost table. All right, time for the soul's lost table. We have claws on the chopping block, and you roll. A seven and a seven is weakened. Choose either move, life, combat, and reduce the chosen ability by one. That's weakened. All right, next up on the chopping block is which one's this one? Cloak. Cloaks. All right, let's see what. No straps. Sorry, straps. See what you get there. Um, we get an 18, and an 18 is twisted. That's what you get on that one, twisted. All right, that means ability goes up and ability goes down. Let's take this one out of the way. And let's see what Wings does. Wings gets a five, and on a five, it's atrophy. Atrophy. Ooh, you choose an ability and lower it by two. That's, ooh, that's not good. No way. All right, how about Devil Tushy? What does Devil Tushy get? Double Tushy gets a six, and a six is atrophy. Wow, these rolls are very no bueno. All right, let's see what uh, Axe Murder gets. Axe Murder is on a chopping block. Nine, and a nine is no effect. So no effect for Axe Murder. All right, who's up next? All right, we have Thunder Cookies. Thunder Cookies gets, that is a 9, 11. And on 11, you get no effect. So Thunder Cookies is safe. It is Thunder Cookies. All right, next up is going to be your Spike. Let's see what Spike does. Nine. Uh, 16, and a 16 is no effect. So good job there. Anyone else? Oh, yes. And then we have Cloaks. Cloaks is up next. Let's see what Cloaks does here. Cloaks gets a 16, and a 16 is no effect. All right. All right, time for my chopping block going on here. Uh, first thing is first is going to be Hecate. And Hecate is going to roll. Let's put Hecate on the chopping block there. And let's see what Hecate gets. All right, four, five, six, seven. And a seven is weakened. I get weakened for Hecate. All right, there is Hecate. And next up is going to be Mara. Mara's on the block. Let's see what I get here. Roll these dice. Okay. Alrighty, so six. So that is nine, and a nine is no effect. So I got no effect with that one. And now for pain. Oh no, my greater demon. Let's see what I get for pain. Alright, I get a 13. And a 13 is no effect. All right, there is for the damage tables. All right, time for the rewards table. Let's see if you get one. It is, you get a nine, and a nine is roll once on the essence table. So you get to roll once on the essence table. Now I get to roll one. Let's see if I get a reward. I get a 12. And a 12 is no reward found. So there's that. All right, time for the essence table. It's your reward. Ooh. Uh, all right, so that is 23. And on a 23, you get essence of the duelist. When using the focus combat style, the demon combat score increases by additional one. So. Uh, when you're doing focus combat, you get an extra die. Nice. 
And that goes to anybody you want. But once you give it to a person, so you can't have duplicates. But once you give it to the person, that person has it and that's it. You can't switch it to anybody else. All right. Alrighty, back from another game of Rain in Hell. Let's talk about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Let's go for it there. I know, I know. You know, I have to tell you that I thought you. I thought three, I was going to win. In- turn three. Yeah. That was really good for you. The fact that you flew over and, and got one of the objectives, I was like, oh, snap. And then I thought in my head, too early. Got to have my plan of attack. And honestly, the spine demon, one shot killing. Holy cannoli. <laughs> that, that. I thought I was going to struggle to get that one. But really, when you had the three, I didn't know if I was going to win because your leader is a beast. Oh, another highlight of the game. When both of the leaders were fighting each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a nail blighter. I was like, am I going to die? Am I going to die? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> your dude is a beast. It's a, oh, my gosh. And I have that poison soul. So every time you try to attack me, you get hurt, too. Strike. I got a strike to kill. You got a strike to kill. Yeah. Roll the dice. Strike. To try and take all your guys out. Oh, hey, yeah, there you go. That works. Strike to kill. You've heard it here first in the TMP. Strike to kill. Yes. All right. I'm going to roll with that one. Uh, I'll keep trying. Sorry, folks. Hey, uh, I think you're doing a lot better. Your strategy was solid. I mean, it really was. I think you went a little bit too early in getting the objectives because that one little last surprise would have shocked me. Although it was a good move. Although, if I would have taken it, it could have ended earlier had I taken it. But it is what it is. I'll tell you one thing. If you would have taken it and then I would have like quit the game, you would have won. <laughs> oh, my, my goodness. It was a good game. It was a good game. It was a nail biter. I do like nail biters. But in the end, in the end, once I started, once I took out your leader, it was just down. Over. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was just downhill. Down. I don't know why you didn't uh, call it right then and there. I guess you're a trooper. I, I like that Wings went out with a, with a bang because he was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay in the fight. I'm staying in the fight. And then, then he ran away later. And then, Have you really known me to quit? Or do you really know me to quit? No. No, no, you're not a quitter. Nobody so, is in this in this uh, the family. Actually, we're we're not. We're a lot of things. Resilient, we are absolutely. And um, I'm gonna keep fighting. Yeah, and we have a overwhelming um, sensation of getting things right and doing the right thing and and being most efficient and everything else. And you get you gotta get me. Now, one thing that you're going to really need to do, you're going to really need to bolster your forces and get yourself some greater demons in there. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe this time I can buy a few. I, we'll I see think ya. you can. Because every person that you killed is going to get you six more points. You have enough to okay. get yourself another greater demon, which is pretty cool. Um, and experience-wise, I mean, if we keep on I get two more experience points. I, I want to get the big mamma gem. I want to show everybody what I'm going to work on for the big the big guys. The the actual, the greatest demons. The kings and the queens. I'll show right now. I think it's, You're going to show right it's, now? It is a preview here. Look at these things. Look at these. Look, it's as big as my face. Yeah, these things are ginormous. All right. And I'm going to paint these up probably in a live stream. And this time, my phone, I'm on my phone. My camera is not going to absolutely erase all the paint and chat. Because I do the paint and chat, and I painted up another demon, which looks great, but um, I lost all the footage. All the footage of doing it. I had 55 hours worth of footage for two tutorials uh, that I had to edit out and stuff like that, but they were all gone, so. I mean, I couldn't do anything. Now, you may see a little sparingly when it comes to the content. Uh, recently, our family's going through something. So, um, you know, if you pray, keep it a center of prayers. That's what's up. Uh, all warm wishes are welcomed to the family as we go through this crisis. But I'm going to do what I can when I can. 
Okay, I, I, I never forget you guys. You guys are uh, out there watching the content. I really do appreciate that you spend the time with us. Um, and I appreciate you for doing this to begin with. I mean, we're going game seven. I mean, three more, and then, and then you don't look how look how happy you are. I've about come that, a man. long way. You've come a long way, indeed. And almost over. It is almost over for that. Uh, you do have the option to play something else at some other point if you want to. All right, if you want to. All right, I appreciate what you've done. I'm just saying, there might be something else that you might enjoy a little better. But you are getting good at this. I'm just saying. All right, there is that Oculus expansion. Hmm. What else could I get? Good Painting? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. You did give me this from Wiz Dice, by the way. And if I open this up, look, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? What's going on? That's a set of D&D, &D, big ones. You know, I do have D&D &D books over yeah. there. Yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Would you? No. I'm asking them. Oh. Would you be interested in D&D &D content? That's the question. I do have my old D&D &D gaming group who told me that they could totally do like a, a Skype or something, video conference call, whatever younger people do. Google Meet, Zoom. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Zoom. Zoom Baloomba. I don't know. I mean, if, it's, if, it, if, if everybody's interested out there, I do have some figures that would play nicely. Not only rain and hell, but for also D and D campaign to fight against, because you need a big baddie. And this, these suckers, are from Reaper Miniatures, and they are big and baddie. I remember getting this one right here. I think it's called Barothos or something like that. And I had the metal one, and I had to peg it, and I never finished painting it. So having this and finally finish painting it is something that I've been trying to do since 2003. So I finally got them. And then there's an alternate sculpt. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. See? This is this is why this is why I play miniature games, because I'm I'm a big kid. <laughs> I'm a big and this is fun. I'm like <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Clubber Lover? Clubber Lover, by the way. <laughs> this thing right here. He doesn't even stand. No, no, not yet. I have to I have to balance him out because these weapons are not on these. This guy has two more arms. So there's that. And then I have the female version to the other demon that I had over there. Uh, he's else. missing an arm. Yeah, he is missing an arm. He's one armed. <laughs> That's probably mine. Not, He'll probably give one. me the one armed one. Okay. Yeah, actually you have a whip. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a whip and a sword, Ooh, I think. I got whips. I like whips. Alright, let's go. I'm in trouble. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> you went there. All right, sister. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, anyway. I had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun. Uh, you, the fact that you come down and we, we have time together. It, it does take a long time to create these battle reports. I mean, honestly, it's supposed to be a very short game. And if we weren't filming it, it would be like, you know, an hour and then done. If uh, I didn't have to do laundry in between. That I mean, we have responsibilities. Day, you know? We're responsible people. Life, it happens. It does. It does. But the thing is, is that you spare enough time to get uh, at least a something in every now and a while. And, and, you know, you enjoy yourself and we spend some time together. So there's that. There's that. All right. All right. Well, um, I'm going to call this one. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This should be coming out in Thanksgiving. Um, and, you know, tell us down in the comments what you're grateful for. We're grateful for having you spend this time with us. That's for sure. Um, and, you know, I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for... Um, being together and spending time together and precious moments while we have them. Very appreciative of that. All right. What are you thankful for? Smiles that make people happy. Smiles. Sm by the way. Smiles. You can no smile and. November's almost over, so that means, you know. To brighten somebody's day. I'm growing this. It's not No Shave November. It's Movember for men's health. So, you know, just got to say, it ain't too late to test your birthday. All right, there we go. There's my message. I'm sticking to that one. All right. And if you like this video, like, comment, share, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time.
on the miniatures paper. You know, sharing is really important because, you know, even more than supporting the channel through Patreon and other things, and there, there are the socials right there. Um, if you share with others, it grows the channel. And we really do appreciate that. All right. And if you like this video, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again because, you know, you got to share on the order. Okay, you do it then. Let's do it together. I forget it. Okay. If you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.